Someone would like to know how the panels are attached to a foundation that doesn't have a deck plate. Um, so perhaps like a garage area. Sure, sure. So as I mentioned, we talked about building over wood. The, the, the extra step when you're going over concrete is the first thing, instead of putting that sill plate down, the first thing we do is we take a, a, a treated two by that has been ripped to the width of the, of the wall. So in this particular instance, if it's a six inch wall, that's six and three eighths inches wide. So you take a, a treated two by and that gets bolted down, uh, pinned down just like you would any other wall that you're building over concrete. So whatever concrete anchors, they might be J bolts that are put into the concrete when, they're, when they pour, or it might be something that's drilled and put in afterwards. But one way or another, you're anchoring that tube that treated two by down to the concrete. Now you put the sill plate, the white sill plate on top in the center, and then your, your panel sets over the top of that. Take this wall panel and tip it this way. So your panel sits over the top of that. And now your OSB, instead of resting on the concrete, is resting on that treated plate. So that's the idea of having that plate ripped to the width of the wall. So that's carrying this load inside and out down to the concrete. So that's really the only extra step. And our drafters take that into account when they're, when they're designing your building. So if you want, in the construction industry, nine foot walls are nine foot one and an eighth. And if you want it to finish out at nine foot one and an eighth, like a, a standard wall, that two by is taken into consideration and we make our, our wall an inch and a half shorter so that that's, so it all comes out at exactly nine foot one and an eighth once the cap plates are on. So it's, it's really a simple process. The bigger challenge probably is the electricity aspect of things when you want the electricity in exterior walls. And so generally speaking, what we see with slab on grade, especially in residential, in, in, in a shop setting, there's a number of different ways to go about this, but in, a, in residential, where you want electricity over to a certain point and you can't bring it to an interior wall, usually they'll put it in conduit in the concrete before they pour and have it stubbed up at the plate site. And so then it ties in and, and gets pulled up to the, to the chase, the 16 inch chase. But it has to be pre-planned uh, more than when you have a basement under it where you can just kind of figure it out as you go.